Fanfare across Juba by determined marchers, marching for peace. Then a solemn moment. Lighting candles and full of hopeful optimism, hundreds of South Sudanese, led by Vice President James Wani Iga, commemorated the International Day of Peace in the capital Juba under the theme, Peace is a Human Right. Allowing the candles to continue burning as a sign of a new beginning, students, members of the civil society, the diplomatic community and officials from the United Nations listened to speakers who all highlighted the need to build on a recently signed peace agreement. International Peace Day. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. South Sudan. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Revitalize Peace Agreement. Oh yeah. commemorate this International Peace Day with jubilation and honor. With jubilation because less than 10 days ago, we, the people of South Sudan, signed an historic revitalized peace agreement. I prefer to call it RPA. Revitalized Peace Agreement. Certainly, this is a great cause for joy and celebration. Peace is a process. Peace was on the minds and lips of young South Sudanese students at the event. Peace said from the heart of a human person. It starts with me. Like this optimistic student who made an honest plea to the youth. I was feeling really very good that we the students and the young people of South Sudan are coming to talk about peace because our parents have been suffering seriously because they need peace for us. So this time round it's us the young people we need to stand up for peace as well so that our people also will know that we young people we need peace in South Sudan. Every year the International Day of Peace is commemorated globally. And this year, the United Nations is encouraging people to promote and defend human rights for all in the name of lasting peace for all. Peace will not be attained until there is trust between the parties and a renewed trust between the people of this young nation and their leaders. One step to achieving this will be clear evidence that the warring factions have the political will to stop fighting and to lay down their guns as they have undertaken to do. This can no longer be a hope or a dream for the people of South Sudan who have suffered for far too long. Rather, all South Sudanese have the right to peace, a right to live safely with dignity in their own homes, a right to see their children go to school and reach their full potential. These traditional dancers will be hoping that with that commitment to implementation, more celebratory dancers like these will be on display in a peaceful South Sudan.